Now onto some travel tips with our favorite travel pro. Let's bring in Janine Tornator. It's expected to be a very busy travel season. Where are you today and what are your tips? I'm coming to you today from Vail, Colorado, where they are hosting the GoPro Mountain Games, a four-day celebration of athletes, art, music, and of course, mountains. This event is going on 20 years, happens every June right here in Vail. It brings in pro and amateur athletes, spectators, there's concerts, all kinds of fun things going on for the entire family. And it is a great way to kick off summer in the mountains. They have a summer concert series at their Gerald Ford Amphitheater that's bringing in names like Nora Jones, the Beach Boys, Steve Martin. They even have great free midweek concerts, which is a great reason to come midweek. Outdoor experiences, of course, you step out your door, the scenery behind me is beautiful, and there are dozens of ways to experience it from mountain biking, kayaking, taking the gondola to the top of the mountain, white water rafting. And I love the downtown of Vail in the village. It is the perfect place to make your base camp for all of your adventures. There's great shopping, world-renowned dining, and dozens of fantastic lodging options. Explain what's going on with Destination Dupes. Now, this is the idea of taking those hot spots that everyone wants to go to and finding a destination that offers similar experiences, a similar vibe. But oftentimes, for less cost and less crowds. And summer is the perfect time to embrace this trend. I've got three picks for you when it comes to destination dupes. My first one is right here in Vail, Colorado. This is my dupe for those European Alpine destinations. Here in Vail, they have so much beautiful European-inspired architecture in their lodging and in their downtown village. You've got restaurants that have fantastic, authentic European Alpine dishes from Swiss pancakes to fondue. Um, and Speaking of lodging, there are fantastic, authentic lodges here, including the Sonnenalp, which is actually owned by a German family. Its sister property is over 100 years old and is actually in Bavaria. So you really get that great European Alpine vibe right here in Vail. Uh, Memphis is my destination dupe for Nashville. Nashville's have been hot for a long time, but if you're looking for that great music experience, Nash, uh, Memphis is to blues and soul what Nashville is to country music. You've got Beale Street for live music and lots of great history in places like Sun Studios and Graceland. And then if you're looking to the Caribbean, you want to look at Curacao as a dupe for those hotter destinations like St. Martin. You get that colorful colonial architecture, beautiful beaches, but oftentimes you're going to find that flight price are less expensive getting into Curacao. What other advice do you have to help travelers maybe have some cash in their pocket by the end of summer after taking some trips? Look for those seasonal nonstop flights, especially into these smaller mountain destinations like right here in Vail. They have their Eagle County Airport, which gets you in here to Vail, and they've added new seasonal nonstop flights to from Houston and Chicago. They've also had addi additional flights from Denver and Dallas. So it makes it easier with more availability getting you into these great destinations. Number two, look for those early in the week flights. Monday and Tuesday flights are said to be about 15% cheaper this season than flying on Thursday and Friday. And midweek lodging can also be more affordable as well. Finally, opt for the early morning flights. Not only are they more affordable, but they are less likely to be canceled than flights after 3 p.m. So you're going to want to make sure to set the alarm and pick those early morning flights. Safe travels to you, Janine. Thanks for having me. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.